All right, so Oscar De La Hoya recently did an interview with Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp. Shout out to him, man. He just been getting you know, great interviews. Went viral. Cat Williams had Dana White. Now got Oscar De La Hoya. You know, many others as well. Oscar, honestly, <laughs> Oscar didn't really have anything bad to say about Floyd from the interview. You know, especially he talked about that even though he feel like he beat Floyd, you know, he that's just in his mind. I mean, he he Floyd beat him. Floyd beat him. And at the time, that was the most hype fight, you know, and they made the most money at that time ever between the fighters. But um, I mean, he just talked about a couple of things. I mean, he talked about how Floyd is he he's a technician inside the ring, you know, and then even like with his business savvy, he fought people, you know, carefully, especially when he became Money Mayweather. And, you know, how he was able to make so, so much money and just even like his discipline. You know, Floyd never really got hit. You know, you never seen him get knocked down and have to get back up. He did get one standing eight back in the eight, And it should have been two because when he fought Zab Judah, he did drop that glove. But nonetheless, Floyd, I mean, Oscar was just saying how, you know, how smart Floyd is. I agree. I agree. You know, a lot of people, people can say what they want about Floyd. But Floyd was a child prodigy. You know, his father, all Floyd ever knew was boxing. Floyd didn't drink. He didn't smoke. He always stayed in the right weight. That, and Oscar said that as well. Like Floyd Vice, Floyd Vice is boxing, working out, and spending money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but when it, but like, you don't, you never hear about Floyd uh, getting pulled over or possessing the drugs or, or, you know, he getting a DUI. You never seen videos of Floyd drunk. Floyd would drink water. He would drink, and people around him said this. He drink water in the club. When the club over, he running home or he running to the gym afterwards to work two, three hours. And even when it came to business, man, Floyd said, man, forget this. My, the whole strategy is I got an undefeated record. You got to beat me. And I'm the A side. You know, it was, he never, he didn't care. Like nobody cared about Floyd put on a boring performance. They just hoped that the person that they fought would beat him. So, I mean, yeah, Floyd, I, I get Floyd that. I do. You know, he was, he was the best at it. When it came to stuff like that, he made the most money so far. He made the most money and he did it the smartest way. I mean, the man fought Conor McGregor. He, he had people really thinking that Conor McGregor had any chance against Floyd. I remember at the time, my old job, I asked my coworker, he was like, man, bro, I don't know if Floyd's never fought nobody like Conor McGregor. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> We're talking about the boxing ring. This ain't the octagon. If this was the octagon, sure, absolutely. But this, we talking about boxing, boxing. And we're talking about one of the greatest to ever do it in a sport. So you you telling me that he, come on, man. Just like when I Floyd about to fight John Gotti the third, unless Floyd want to just go in there and take a dive, even though it's an exhibition, unless he want to just go in there and take a dive for whatever reason, come on, man. He finna collect another easy payday, you know, but well, people are hoping, they hoping he do with how Pacquiao did. You know, Pacquiao recent exhibition, I mean, he looked old, he looked slow, it was hard to watch. It, it seemed like, it seemed like the person he fought didn't really, like, was trying to take him out, but at the same time wasn't. And you could tell Manny was just holding on for dear life, man. Like, it's it's over. It's over for majority of these guys. And, you know, I don't want to see Floyd do that. And the if Floyd go in there and even perform like that, you're going to hear people out here start saying, man, Floyd lost, man. He ain't undefeated no more, man. John Gotti, man. And then you're going to start hearing this stuff like he even went high in Gangu. They're going to start trying to put John Gotti versus um Jerron Boots Ennis or, or Terrence Crawford. You're going to start hearing rumblings like that, man. Hey, man, I think John Gotti got a chance, y'all, for real. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.